Hi, it's Alexandra here and I'm here at Sopot, Sopot Fashion Week, or actually should I say Sopot Fashion Days, where I'll have the pleasure to entertain all the guests and all the VIPs and all the designers tomorrow throughout the night. Exclusive VIP party at Dream Club. So I hope you stick around, we're going to show you exclusive backstage footage. Um, I'll be performing with a good friend of mine, DJ Jamie Ross, where I'll be getting some massive, massive tunage out on the stage and just getting everyone pumped, because at the end of the day, that's what I do best. I have the pleasure to work um, with some of the most talented people in Poland and one of them is Seb Skalski, a dear friend of mine and a fabulous producer. I mean, we've done so many tracks together and we occasionally perform together. We'll be performing next weekend in Poznan at SQ Dijinitz. It's going to be an amazing night. One another producer I work with is Johnny Bravo and recently we've done a track called He's Me Baby, uh, which was released on Deep Town Music, a Swiss record label. It's doing really, really well, so I'm really excited about it. And also, I mean, we mustn't forget Louis Skibi, our track called Who Am I, which actually I was amazed, you know, by the response and how it became huge in radio stations, not only in Poland, I mean, it was um, in Ireland, the top three track of the year, um, Digital Group with Maya Redmond. Thank you, Niall, for your support. You know, I love you. Look at this place, the atmosphere is absolutely electric and the weather is stunning. It was pissing that with rain before, but sunny at the moment, fingers crossed, it's going to happen. I believe that music is not only about music itself, it's fashion as well, and I'm absolutely into my fashion. Um, I see it as an opportunity to go on stage and become someone else and dress up and, you know, wear the clothes that I probably would not bear to wear on an everyday basis. singles coming out on legendary purple music that's Jamie Lewis record label with Ray Paxson I'm so excited I mean I'm a huge fan and I've got the pleasure to sing one of our singles today during the support fashion days and track is called freedom <laughs> Yes, with Ray we're releasing Freedom and as a follow-up we're releasing Praise You, which is a bit spiritual and a bit gospel, it's a bit different sound to what I normally do. Um, my next project is with Tune Brothers um, on German labelled House Session, maybe a bit more progressive stuff and a bit harder. I mean tracks like Play A Little or Knock On Your Heart, which was released recently and was doing really well in Austrian and German dance charts. <laughs> moment I'm working with one half of Bimbo Jones that's Mark JB and we've got a track I 
think it's going to be a disco revival hit. I mean, I absolutely love this tune. I felt so inspired. It's a story about two girls competing for the same guy. So I'm not going to tell you. Or should I tell you? Yeah, I'll tell you. The name of the track is called He's Mine, Bitch. <laughs> just finished my gig it was absolutely amazing and the atmosphere was completely electrifying um, I could see the connection with the crowd and they really appreciate what we were doing and really feeling the tracks especially freedom with Ray Paxton which makes me really really happy uh, I think it's really important to work with people you feel um, connected with I'm blessed that I found the perfect manager Sebastian and yes we're both very headstrong and we both have you know very concrete ideas where we would like my career to go. We still get to do what we really love and find the best common ground and come up with the best solution for Alexandra, the, the artist. Um, I respect Sebastian's creative input and I completely trust him as a manager. So I feel blessed, you know. We've worked together for two years now and it's been the best two years of my professional career. And he's not just a manager, he's friend and I think that's very, very important. I think it goes without saying that I absolutely love what I do and I feel so passionate about music and blessed that I got this voice that I can use and utilize what I've been given, you know, this gift and share it with people and maybe touch, you know, touch them with my songs or with my music and I know for me it's a very emotional thing. I don't just go on stage and and just, you know, sing songs. I live through those songs and I feel that the reason why I'm successful at what I do is because what I do is real and I'm real on stage and it doesn't matter, I'm a big woman and it may not always look pretty. I sweat a lot and I dance for two hours and I sing on top of my lungs and I jump around. It's not about posing, it's not about being phony. It's art, it's true, it's honest and um, yeah, I feel blessed. You know, I've written a song called Praise Him because I really feel that I've been given this thing for a reason and I just wanted to say that I'm grateful that it was me who was chosen to have it. You know, I do not consider myself the best singer in the world, it's nothing like that, but I know I have something and I have this personal obligation to share it with people. Um, I think I've sacrificed a lot over the last 12 years. When I moved to London, I had to start from scratch and it wasn't always easy. And, um, but I feel really proud because everything that I've achieved, I achieved on my own without anybody's help. And I got to the stage now where I can actually enjoy the benefits of what I do. Um, I've got six singles coming up this year and there's many more other projects that I'm working on and I just, you know, I just sometimes pinch myself because I'm thinking, you know, surely this is not real, but it is and I enjoy every single second of it.
good night. And I'm going to hope to see you again soon. I mean, come on, guys. We had a blast. And look how crazy this party is.